Well, we got some of our summer cruisers in. Pretty much just going through everything. The weather is still cold as heck outside, but the ground was frozen, so I felt I took the opportunity to get the wife's truck out and my uh, my Model A. I think I'm kind of ready to park the Merc as it's sort of summer. <laughs> it's spring. And I'm uh, going to do a run through on that thing. I think I have like an antifreeze leak somewhere, so I got to check that out. And this one really doesn't need anything, but I'm just going to do the once over, make sure it's good to go. Anywho, back at this thing. So, uh, the owner was by, sat in it, it's pretty good. We got to raise the seat. Didn't like the slight clock on the steering wheel. Said not a problem. So we straightened it out, which now causes a whole list of other problems. So now my steering doesn't work, <laughs> which is no big deal. But we're going to have to come up with an idea here. We, uh, we need to, we're going to have to put a wobble joint somewhere in the center. So by that, I mean, I have to put a U joint so we can get the steering to go. Oh, this will come apart. This one has to come here and then we need a wobble joint in there to attach up there. And we need something to steady rest. This whole works when it's said and done. Oh, key doke. So it's not too bad. I'm going to see if I actually have one in my stock. I've been sort of semi digging around, but I haven't found anything yet. Whenever Speedway has a big sale on these things, I end up finding that I buy a whole bunch of them. Problem is I buy them the smaller ones that I don't really know what the heck to do with. I wouldn't, they're not good for suspension parts. They might be okay for steering, but I don't know. I like to overbuild everything. Anyhow, I'm going to go dig through, see if I can find what I need in here. And uh, we'll bring you guys right back. Well, it does not look like I have any of the bits. So I guess we're going to order some stuff. We may as well just order everything we need, as crappy as that is. But, eh, that's what we got to do. Not a problem. So what is the plan here today? I think the plan is we're going to get... I guess I'm going to bolt the body down because there's no point that it has to come off anymore. I'm pretty confident that's good. We're going to plumb the rest of the brakes, get the brakes working. Uh, see how the pedal feels. Make sure that is positioned in the right spot. Uh, should have bits in to do the gas pedal eventually. And then I think uh, we'll start stringing the wiring out on this thing. Kind of get, we need it going so we can kind of do our gauges and do all the other stuff. So... Um, I've ordered bits for the exhaust, so I'm waiting for that to come. Uh, well, basically, so I can build the exhaust. I just ordered one of those U-weld kits, so we're gonna make we're gonna make something up, and make this happen, and uh, get the front sheet metal and stuff on. Possibly running boards. Ah, I can't do the sheet metal till I get that thing. Dang it! I've got to keep digging. I have to pull some strings, see if I can find bits. I know I can if I have to, I could use this bit. Because this thing is not overextended, so I can get that thing to go where I need. And then we're going to have to make some kind of a pedestal dealio for a wobble joint that I don't have. To which uh, then needs uh, a heim that I don't have to hold it. <laughs> so, dang it. All right, so if we just make this go down here, we're trying to clear the spark plugs, that's the big one. We don't want stuff rubbing there. If we come down at there, we can probably off here make our hanger doodad to hang, hold on to this stuff. And then we can kind of straight shot down to the box. I think it'll work, if I can find parts. All right, well, I'll see who's got a, a heim joint here. Anyways, let's get started. We've got lots to do before we worry about that. We're only worried about that till we want to get that bolted on permanently. So we got other stuff to do.
Well, kind of cruddy. So I don't have any of these bits. So I'm going to have to... Well, I've actually ordered it already. So I'm kind of on the hoop waiting for that. We did do our brake lines. They're done-ish. Well, actually, they're done. We might just tweak them just to look prettier, but that's about it. Um, I need a fitting so I can get my power booster line to hook up. We got to bleed the brakes, but I don't feel like fighting with that. I think I want somebody to give me a hand with that. Uh, yeah, not a lot of things are working for me here. <laughs> All right. Well, just thought of it. What I can do is I can kind of deal with the uh, steering column situation and maybe try to get this shifter working. We have this thing here, which I think it's in park. I'll have to figure it out. We're going to have to figure this out and build some kind of a trinket in there for this thing to clip onto and a mount for down here. So this stuff can all like shift and do its thing. I'm trying to see which way this has got to go. I don't know if this thing's in park or drive right now. I think it's in park to which then this thing has to extend. It needs to pull. That goes back to first gear. Right? So I go to first gear. You finished eating your food? <laughs> okay, I'm going to figure this out and then we're going to start playing around and figuring out what we got to do for our shifter. And then we'll make a boot for the floor as well. I guess we can cut that on the table. That way we can bolt the column in and it'll sit where it's supposed to go.
Well, we got this in. Hopefully you've seen that it actually works through the whole uh, sequence there. It's, it's not pretty, but it does do the job. It goes through all the clicks, so that's kind of the important part. We do want to hit them all if you're going to be hot on the tires there. But she's got all the clicks. Goes back in the park. That is good. We got to deal with this when the parts come in for that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It worked out pretty simple. Although I did have to string it though this side of the motor and around. Uh, so it, whatever. It kind of runs under the frame rail like this. So I'll have to figure a way to fasten it. There's always some adjustability in these things right here if you're not quite right on your shot. But when I made the bracket, I pretty much lucked out. I got it first try here. You can see I drilled a bunch of holes so I had different... Uh, like I drilled, so basically I put a nut in through the back, I threaded it, and then this is my jam nut. So, I don't know, pretty simple. There's two other holes, because I didn't know if I needed more throw or less throw, so I kind of was playing it that way, and I could always extend this rod out and back, that's why I had the vice grip on there, and I was kind of doing my thing. Then up here I just punched a hole, did the old slot -a roo in there, and uh, yeah, we just punched it in, kind of did the loop. So, I'm kind of reusing the old cable, so that's kind of nice. We're using the factory column, that's nice. Um, kind of did it backwards, but the column's in there pretty good. Now I just gotta make my my two, my two my plate to bolt to the firewall, uh, just for the lower part of the column. Like, it is pretty solid right now, but we need to, uh, need to get that bolted in place there yet before we come up and tackle and see how, how I like my brake pedal, how it is to where I sit. I've never even tried it, and I can't guarantee everybody's going to have a boot my size. It's not bad. I don't know if you can see, but if I played, it'd be doable. But I think it's got to go down about an inch or two inches, which is actually not bad. It's pretty good considering. <laughs> this is uh, almost on the money. I think if it was down about here, we'd be uh, pretty good. All right. Hey, so what do you say? We finish up the column and then we can go inside? Is that like a plan? Yeah? No? You just want to be heavy on the pets? I understand. I understand. Okay. Let me finish the steering column first, then we'll go in. Well, it wasn't the glorious of evenings of stuff, but hey, we got some stuff done. We got a little bit or a lot. I don't know. Depends how you look at it. We got the shifter situation done. Steering column is done. We got our little tab made and welded underneath there. So she's 100%. She shifts as she should. And I think that is what we're going to do for tonight. That is it. Just a little bit of steering column shifter action. Cool. I'm not sure what we do it tomorrow. I guess maybe I'll start stringing out the wiring through the truck. We may as well do that. I will bolt the cab down though. Or at least get these four bolts. These uh, shift mounts I'll probably just tie. I don't know. Looks pretty clean actually. Eh? <laughs> Compared to all the other garbage going under the hood, I think that'll be all right. Alrighty. Well. Till tomorrow. Right, bud? You waited long enough. Ready to go in the house? No? Gonna hang out there for a little while? Alright. Well, I'll clean up and then we'll go in. How's that sound? Next day. Still hearing me trying to daddle with my water junk. I can't find any lines local. Tried quarter inch airline. Don't work. 
don't like to push through the hose. I can't do copper or metal line because it is a plastic hose running to the house. And I wouldn't be able to get a welder on either end only because the uh, it's a couple hundred feet. <laughs> I'd need a big welder if it was a steel line. Anywho, still progressing, trying to get somewhere with that as I feel like it. Because as you've seen from the uh, other day, it would have been really nice if my table had some water in it. It's very smoky. Anywho, uh, hmm. I guess, well, we could bolt the cab down, which you should do, but I'm waiting on steering bits. So I don't know, change the plans. I'm gonna go grab the wiring from upstairs. I'm gonna string it out. We'll at least run it front to back in the vehicle. And then uh, we'll see where we get. I mean, whatever. Progress is progress, anything, right? So we gotta do the wiring regardless. So we may as well do it now. We'll kind of get it mounted in the cab and uh, sticking out all the holes everywhere it's supposed to go. And then when it comes to the front part, we'll just have it slinging out. We need some of that harness to run uh, the motor, like basically key stuff we're gonna use for that. And uh, yeah, whatever, it is what it is. Right. I guess this one is different. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I ordered. It's got the typical thing though. It's got my my high beam switch here. It's got my GM column stuff and it's got like uh, where you'd put your funky plug to go into the GM column. So I mean it's still a good one but this one does have a relay for a fuel pump and a fan which I'm going to reverse engineer and we're going to use these to run the the fan and that but the triggers wherever I find them are going to be um, under the hood off the computer to turn them on anyways this one here it's actually labeled nice and stuff so so it's got your your typical stuff on it so with that said uh, I don't have the Amazon number but hopefully this thing focuses come on baby you can do it I don't know I'll try to link in the description it's basically the GSK Motor Universal 20 circuit. Man, can you focus? Come on. Uh, whatever. Hopefully you can see that. If not, I'll put a link somewhere. It was from Amazon is where I got it from. Uh, I guess time will tell. I'm going to weed through this and we'll see how it is right out of the box. Like I say, it does have fan and uh, uh, fuel pump relays, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> it's got this separate doodad over here, but this is for your four-way flasher and your regular flasher, to which just plugs into the harness, and then this side plugs into that the one plug on the steering column. Anywho, I won't go into a crazy amount of detail, but we'll kind of get this going here. I'm going to string it up again. <clears throat> I'm going to break it down into rear section, uh, engine, and then dash, and then all the extra junk kind of thing. It's usually how I break it up. All right, let's get started. can't say I'm really going to recommend this kit to folks. If this is your first wiring harness, this will frustrate you. I don't mind it because I kind of like backtrack and figure stuff out. The way they bunch stuff together doesn't really make sense. Because they have this thing going back, but it has tail lights, fuel gauge, stuff like that. But it also has your other senders like oil, temp, and your front park lights are in this. So basically, I'm going to splice those two out. That's not a big deal. Then in the section that looks like it goes to the front, it has tail stuff. It has front stuff. They kind of did lighting as one whole unit. So it's, it's really dumb. It's poorly put together. I'm okay with it. It's not a big deal. You know, I, I saved a bunch of money, so I'm not really worried about it. But if you've never done a wiring harness, yeah, this would just be frustrating. I just know I want the rear of the vehicle. And I need tail lights, 
fuel, uh, fuel pump, um, a few things like that. So I just know I'm going to go peel through the harness and I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to do the front, the motor, which will have like your power wire, your gauges, uh, charging, stuff like that. That'll come out the front. And then now I'm going to break down into the here, like this here is like wiper, heater, uh, radio, clock, cigarette lighter, stuff like that. I just don't know why there's instrument power in it. That's confusing me. So I'm trying to figure that out. And then other stuff here that goes to like the brake switch and then other things look like they belong to go to a headlight switch was bundled in with this. So why I'm saying this is probably not a great kit for somebody. Um, I'm breaking it down, makes sense for me. But again, I'm sure I'm gonna have lots of spare wire because there's a lot of things in here that I am not gonna use like power seats, power windows, uh, power locks, like stuff like that. So whatever. It's kind of like free wire or I'm going to loop it up because it'll be straight battery stuff. So if a guy's running a stereo or doing something, I guess you can use that wire. I don't know. It's there. Anywho, I'm going to just keep plugging away. I think I kind of was farting with it, but I think what I'm going to do is just show you the, uh, the finished piece after. And then uh, hopefully that'll just make sense when I show you the, the, the breakdown. I'll keep the camera going, but... I'm going to speed it up really fast just so you folks don't <laughs> don't try to follow what I'm doing. Um, I don't know. Yeah, like I say, it's just, I don't know, things don't make sense. I just know the bits that I need for every section of the car, so that's what I'm doing. So, anyways, I uh, will keep going, powering through this and taking things out that I don't need in here. Looks, well, maybe a little over an hour. Um, I don't know. I don't mind this. I enjoy it. I've explained this before. I break stuff down in the zones. Even though everything was wired wrong, I I split it up, and then I just go through it wire by wire and just point. I mean, even the bad harnesses, well, I wouldn't say the bad ones, but like this one wasn't nicely split out, but everything's labeled super nicely, like everywhere, every wire, every, I don't even know what it is, a couple inches, it's labeled, so... I just broke it down into things that I wanted. So this is like, uh, this one is uh, wiper, heater, radio, cigarette lighter, stuff like that. We got, this thing here is everything dash related. So my gauges, a high beam indicator light, like stuff like that. This one just goes to my brake switch. Uh, what else do we got here? This one is like my headlight switch. So that one's busted down that way because these are all the wires that just go to do all that stuff. Everything steering column goes there. Uh, then we go down to the, this is like, now we're getting into the engine compartment here. So this is like sending units, um, tack, you know, stuff like that. And over here we got uh, like battery power, start, horn, I think that's about it on there. <clears throat> Key. So that's going to run my fuse box. This purple pink wire in there. This is stuff that I'm not using, but in case somebody else wants to do it, this is for power seats, uh, power windows, locks. So we'll have that spooled up under the dash. And then we run back here, and this is everything to... Oh, this is the front of the truck. High beams, signals, um, you know, your headlights, your signals, your running lights. And then we stomp this one to the back, which is signals, fuel gauge, and the fuel pump. Up here, I just revamped the pump. We had uh, an auxiliary relay. I kind of redid it about so it'll do the fuel pump. And then I came out one of these wires. This one here, I brought it out and it'll have the trigger wire to uh, uh, run the fuel pump. 
to which I've just wired and kind of did everything, so that's fine. The one other one here is actually for the horn. Uh, I'll do a relay for the electric fan under the hood when I get there. Anywho, that's... I don't know. I don't know how to do it. It'd be a super long video if I tried to explain this, and then if a feller bought a different wiring harness, it would be like starting all over again, and it would be all different, so... I don't know. If wiring scares you, this is not a very good kit. Trust me on that. I don't mind it. It's still a good kit as far as I'm concerned, but it's uh, probably not the greatest. There's probably better ones out there. I've used better. But anyways, that said, um, we got everything set up in our zone. So essentially now we're going to try to figure out where stuff's going to fit in the truck. And uh, we'll start stabbing wires out which way direction they're supposed to go. <laughs> All right, we got, I don't know, I was just doing a lot of crimping and stuff, so it's not that exciting and no point really showing. But we got our headlight switch in. All of our accessories and stuff, I just have hanging off of here for now. That loop is for the power seat and stuff, that's down there. I have not mounted the fuse box or anything, but it will go like over there when I do get to it. This is everything just dash related for my gauges when I get down to it. And then in here, we got our high-low beam, and this is for our brake switch. Uh, this other side, I'm going to be wiring in for the torque converter for the lockup. So that part is easy. And then, yeah, like that'll run your high beams, your low beams. So we got like that stuff done. Under the hood, I started with the um, 
I built like I have this fuse box, so I kind of piggybacked it off the coil wire. So it's doing the jump, so that's going to be all of our fuses except for the single one at the end, which is going to be a straight power for the computer. So I've started working on this. The only thing I don't like is the instructions I got for the express van. It really is vague as to what does what. So when you run down here, it goes, it's Scooby, Scooby, Scoobies, and then it comes up with the purple. So this is like the lock up, the torque converter. This is battery power. And then all the pinks, it just says it needs voltage. So I'm going to trace them back. I'll kind of walk you through that as to how I just figure out what's what. Um, but the only other thing that uh, that's a big one on here is the fuel pump, which is up here, which we've got to run to this wire that runs that relay in the cab. And then when we do the fan, when we do get to that, off the computer, we ran that one white wire. We ran that single wire off of here, this yellow wire, which comes back here. So it's going to run the relay to which we'll wire up to the electric fan. So I, I'm like this far. Um, when I do come down to it, I'm going to uh, basically just scan back. The truck basically only needs, well, sorry. Out of here, you got your purple is going to be the starter. So whatever, that's pretty straightforward. There's a black in here. That's a ground. The other ones are all just like AC or does stuff like that. It's all garbage. It's the pinks are the only one we've got to, to trace back. And from there, it's pretty easy because we just have our basic sensors. Like one's going to be the EVAP. We're not using it. No big deal. Um, there's going to be the map sensor on top. We're going to come back, check that. We'll come back here. We're going to check our coils and uh, our injectors. So the injectors are all going to have their own power wire. They should. Yes, I think so. So usually the doubles are those. So they each have their own power wire. So we'll trace those all back. Um, same for this side. Each coil has its own. No, the coils all share a power. The injectors themselves each have their own power. And then uh, what else do we got? We got a cam sensor in the back. And then behind the starter, there's a crank sensor. And then basically, I don't know, there's going to be some stuff left over and I'm just going to take for granted that that is uh, transmission stuff. So I'll just dump them on a fuse for the transmission. One or two wires in there is just going to be 12 volt for the computer. And then, yeah, like I say, the, the, the double red and white is actually uh, straight battery, always constant power. I don't know if I got to break it down anymore. That's basically it. All I'm going to do is just run an ohm meter and I'm just going to test like this sensor and this one. Then I can at least label it. And then when I do it in the fuse box, I'll have them all labeled as to what each thing is. Should make it simple and break it down a little more than I normally do. I mean, it sounds simple. I know most of you are going to tell you that that's not. But <laughs> that's really why I'm not going into detail because this is not that... Um, uh, it's not nice like the, the trucks where I always go to LT1 Swap. I think that's the website's called. And they give you this, which is the plug. And then it gives you a grid. One, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then one to something. So then whenever I pull up, let's pretend on this particular website, when I pull up, which is, you just got to look up these guys here, LT1 swap. So this thing here for a 99, it'll show you this. And then it starts at A1, which is nothing. A2, A3, it'll say this is air conditioning. Then like A7 is gray and that's like uh, fuel pump. Well, that's diesel, so it doesn't exist, but whatever. You kind of get the idea. It grids it out really nice for folks to, uh, to do. And then the van is always the one weird off. So that's why I'm going to be snipping these out and I'm going to be shortening them up. So they kind of come back into the harness and they're all going to just pin up into this fuse box back here. And then we're going to have a relay for the fan right beside it. The fuel pump is on the inside. And that'll pretty much cover the motor for that point. Anyways, ooh, one of those is going to be for the mass airflow, which I have here somewhere. Just kind of showing. There might be some dead ones because we're not using them, like we're turning off. The O2s we'll have, but the rears we won't be using. Stuff like that. I don't know. I personally don't think it's very confusing, but after you do one of these, it just gets a lot easier to mess around with. Anyhow, enough babbling. I'm going to grab supper. I'm going to cut this up and then 
give you a small example of how I tone it. And then from there, I'll just do my thing and uh, we'll just get it all wired up. All right, well, this is how I'm gonna break this thing down. <clears throat> Got our toner. Just set up to do groundy ground stuff. And this little experiment, I just gotta find my pink, which is this one. And then in this plug, I'm just going to find out which one's by coils. Nope, no. There we go. So this one is passenger side coil. So we'll label that. Snippity snip. Move on to the next thing, which is going to be injectors, and they usually go in pairs. So, there we go. Which side is pink? Oh. Should be this one. And let's find some more coils. Oh, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Make sure nothing weird comes up. Okay. So, passenger coils. Oh, sorry, injectors. Forgot which one it was, so I'll do it again. Is that or is this one? This one. So there's two there, so there's gonna be two more, so. <laughs> Just locking out here. All right, so those are two are gonna go together. That's the whole passenger side coils. Sorry, I keep saying that. Passenger side injectors, these two are gonna be all as one bundle. So I pretty much do that, hit all the sensors, do everything, and that's how I'm gonna break it up so I can identify what stuff are. So this is passenger injectors. Chances are two of these are gonna be like the driver side injectors, and then coil. And then we're going to start getting into our sensors and our O2s after that. So, I don't know. For me, it's kind of straightforward, but if you know all the sensors on the motor, it's not too bad. Like I say, there's one back there, starter, uh, temperature, this EVAP, which we're not using, the mass airflow. Uh, I think that's kind of it. They're just the basic ones. Anywho. I'm gonna go plug away with this and finish patching it up and then we'll bring you back. I think that's as far as I want to go tonight. 
we got to still, we have the back of the truck is all wired good. And, and then my light is in there, but doesn't look like it, but we have our brakes wired, brake switch, headlight switch. We just got to do the gauges and I'm just not feeling the, uh, the, uh, setting up the plasma and doing all everything I need to do to cut those holes right now. But, uh, this is just for radio, stuff like that. So we got pretty much everything done here. The only thing I got to do is wire up a power for my, uh, torque lockup, like to turn it on and off. And, uh, I have to wire the relay up here for the electric fan. Other than that, we've, um, cleaned up the wiring under the hood. Well, as good as I can. We still have this bundle, but it's for the headlights and the signals and all that stuff over here. So then we have our fuse box up there, which is pretty much, well, it's labeled, but you can't really see. <laughs> They're all, the, the labels are all on the little tabs down there. So we got that, but we got to do our battery and then we got to um, mount up our computer. Still got to unlock the computer, but so... Yeah, I think that's where I'm at tonight. I don't know. Had a good evening. I think it was a good evening. We got tons of cleanup. All the wire that we cut out didn't need anymore. It feels pretty good. I think we did all right. Anyways, I don't know. I think the video might have run on at this point. I know you folks don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see where we're at in my footage here but uh if we are at the end i want to uh thank you folks for watching and uh we will catch you on the next one later